Hey, hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? And today's video, I got some information I want to pass on to you. I received an email from a Walmart worker and this person is a coach as they explained it to me. A coach is someone that is over a several different departments and different teams so they're over more people this person did state that you know you have your store manager you have an assistant manager and then you have like a coach so we're gonna get into what they talked about today because you people really got to hear this because it proves one of my points and it was quite interesting and I have the email right here but before I do, I just want to cover a couple of quick things here, folks, in case a lot of you people haven't been paying close attention to what is taking place out there. Um, so far this year, our food prices and everything else have gone up 9%. Um, the highest has been in decades. Uh, the USDA is stating that the, they're predicting by the end of the year, it's going to rise another 5%. And if you like going out to eat, that's going to cost you another six and a half, seven percent by the end of the year. Now, there's a lot of droughts. There's a lot of things going on, folks, that you really need to be paying attention to. The droughts out west are still real. They're still happening. They're still taking place. Out in the mountain ranges, out towards California and all that area, they did not get the snowpack that they were hoping for. They fell short about 30%. And so that's just going to add to the droughts also. The fires have already started burning out in New Mexico. That doesn't help us out either. Uh, there's a lot of states that just, it, this all affects. And then we turn around and what happens is they have a bad growing season. It is so very important for this year for us to have a great growing season. Now, this email that I did receive this person does talk about uh, a few key points. Now, the first key point is a lot of these products, a lot of people are seeing that, you know, on this channel at least, that they don't see anything. The stores are completely stocked. They're fine. All right. Which is good. I mean, hey, I'm not going to knock that. But the one thing that I'm sure everybody has to agree on is what you're seeing is the prices are all going up. Now, this person did state in their email a lot of this product that they did get in. They got a large um, amount of product in and it was what was ordered from last year into the beginning of this year. They didn't get all their product that they ordered for the holiday season. Now, they place these orders in advance because they want to make sure they have it all in house when the holidays get here, right? I mean, it only makes sense. I mean, you guys have to remember in years past, if you went into Walmart or any grocery store for that fact, and they'd have pallets of canned goods, you know, green beans and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, because everybody makes all these different dishes and everything else at the holiday time. And they'd be right out in the aisles, you know, the main aisles. Well, you don't see that anymore now, do you? You know, I mean, it's just not there. Uh, the prices, everybody has to agree. The prices are just going through the roof. Now, this person that did send me this email, they did include two pictures. The first picture you're going to see coming up now after they got all their stock in and they filled their back rooms and the store. The second picture was taken two days ago and you can see how there is a lot of holes there. It looks like there's some bags of flour or sugar right there. There ain't much, is there? Just saying, now, the problem is that they're not getting as many as deliveries as they used to get. And when they place their orders on the products that they need, or they want to make sure that they have like their top selling product, what takes place is they're not getting all of it. So say they ordered 30 cases of something, they may get 10 or 15. 
so they're already behind. Now, the rest of it goes on to what they call a back order, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people that have anything to do with any type of shipping and receiving knows what a back order is. But what happens is they keep ordering. They're going to turn around, they're going to reorder. And this person stated that hopefully that um, at some point in time, all this product will catch up and it'll fill their back rooms, fill the shelves and everything else. Uh, the store shelves. Here's another thing that is uh, very interesting and something that I did talk about. The store shelves are also, they have started condensing a lot of the shelves down because they don't have enough product to put on it. We all figured that out, didn't we? But that is what they're doing. They have no choice. It's either that or they're just going to have huge holes all over the store. So as products start to run low on the major brands that they people want, they just start shrinking those down a little bit. So at least when you're looking at it, a visual aspect, it looks full. A lot of people are not realizing the dynamics of it used to be yay big and now it's yay big but it's full you see what i'm saying i mean did, did people just don't grasp that you know i mean a lot of people they just go in the store they just grab what they need and they walk out they're not paying attention to anything they don't pay attention to the prices they don't pay attention to nothing else and speaking about prices this person also did state um that the prices are going up and they change daily and there's not enough people to change all these price tags especially in these huge large superstores that this person um, works at one of those and you know it's literally impossible and now i can also state um, i deliver personally to a gamestop and every morning when they come in the computer prints off price changes and it can be anywhere between the guy told me on a, a good day it's 150 price changes which is a lot and they're, they're supposed to have that done before the store opens but you know how it is these companies don't want to give the employees the time to do it and they can you know they can do everything in 30 minutes before the store opens and it just doesn't happen now on a bad day usually on mondays um when I go in there, he'll still be doing price changes. It could be he had five, six hundred price changes. It's ridiculous, and it's on a daily basis, you know. Um, so Walmart isn't the only store. I'm sure a lot of stores out there are going through the same exact thing. The reason I'm talking about Walmart today is because I received this email and what this person said. Now the moral of this story is, all right. A lot of this stuff that they have received, like I said, they're not getting a lot of coming back in. So eventually the stock is going to start to run back down and they don't know when they're going to start getting regular deliveries once again. And that seems to be the problem with every store in America, not Walmart, every store in America. They don't know when they're going to be on a back to normal receiving their products that they order. Look at your meat departments. Look at your dairy departments. Your canned good departments, everything else. A lot of stores are starting with limitations. I haven't seen a lot in Walmart, but Publix has their signs all over the place. I'm just stating. It's not just all Walmart. I'm talking about Walmart today because this particular person that was so graciously give me the information through email. That's why I'm talking about it so you all know what's going on. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I would like to thank you all for joining me on this video today. I want you to stay prepped, stay ready. You gotta keep your feet on the ground, you gotta keep your eyes open, and you gotta stay ahead of the Things ball. Things on a daily basis are changing so fast. Prices are going up. And everything well, if you don't else, think that you need to be prepared, you got another thing coming because it's going to get real ugly real quick, folks. So do your part. 
So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.